six, a helping hand with your land. Neil from Essex here today on a nice, brisk, cold, snowy day. Uh, last night we received about four inches of snow, really wet, sticky stuff. It's a beautiful morning. Everything is sticking to the trees and it looks fantastic. Uh, I love snow. I've referenced in several other videos about using brooms for snow removals and often get chuckle from people who don't really totally understand that, particularly from you Canadians. Um, I'm going to show you a little bit of why some people do choose to do snow removal with brooms. While move, using blades and buckets and snow blowers are great for moving high volumes of snow, they do a fairly poor job of getting the surface really clean. And if your, say, retirement communities, hospitals, municipal customers, or just somebody who's really concerned about getting down to the bare asphalt itself, a broom can do a much better job for you. And I'm going to show you a little bit of that here today. Snow removal here at Messix is a bit of a, uh, a race. There's plenty of people here willing to jump on a piece of equipment and go out and push snow. And we seem to be at it as soon as the first flakes hit the ground, which doesn't give me a whole lot of options for places to go here today. But you'll notice that the area right here where I'm standing was cleared with a plow just a few minutes ago. And I've got some snow off here to my side light, not the full amount that we got here, then I'm going to be able to go through with the broom here and show you how much better I'm able to get down to the asphalt and clear that area off. So you can see over here, if you're concerned about your slip and falls, a lot more options here, a lot more options here uh, in, order to, in order to have an injury. So you can very clearly see here the areas that I did with the broom versus going over top with the blade first. I get right down to the asphalt and get a much cleaner surface. You run across here with a little bit of salt. You have very little concerns about now, say, public areas where people are going to be walking around. Brooms like this are going to work. Uh, a large broom can clear up to about four inches of snow. Smaller ones like this are really only good for surface dusting and that kind of stuff. You're not going to move huge, deep amounts. Um, and it is a little bit harder to, say, throw the snow farther away so not something that you want to go out and try to clear a parking lot with you're not going to be greatly efficient about it more for walkways and that kind of stuff so let's take a look at what we've done out here today if you are say a municipal customer a school district a hospital retirement community those kinds of customers a broom should be something that's in your arsenal for snow removal in the winter time so if you're a customer like that you're going through the buying process for an attachment like this if you've got parts of service needs that you got give us a call at messix we're available at 800-222-3373 or online at messix.com